Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to create this requested program. Here this question is asking, write a computer program which declares a one dimensional integer array of 10 elements and initialize that array with 0. After initialization, it inputs the value in each element of an array from the user, then searches the value from an array input by user, then displays all the elements of array and the index of the element if it found in an array and value not found message if it not found in an array. So here what we are going to do is we are going to create an array with 10 elements and the user is going to enter the 10 elements and also user is going to enter a number after that and if the number is in the 10 elements it's going to display with the index number and if it's not there if the number entered by user is not there it's going to say value not found. Now let's see how we can go and create that one. First we are going to set an array size so first let's say const int array size is equal to 10 and then int num array size because integer number we are going to enter is going to be size of the array 10 numbers right so we are going to put, set it to array size array size okay then close this square bracket semicolon after that we are going to create a flag here we are going to put bool value found found after that we are going to set integer search key integer search key search index search index and i and semicolon after that we are going to set the index numbers index numbers are going to start from zero so we we are going to create a for loop for that for loop i is equal to zero and then we are going to have i is less than array size because array size is 10 and if the index start from zero and if, if it goes until nine it's already 10 right so that's why it's less than array size array size and i plus plus and then we are going to give a c out statement for the user to enter a value so we see out input input okay input the number okay then semicolon after that the user is going to input number so that's going to be c in num and i okay then we close this square bracket semicolon after that we are going to end this one so let's put end line or we can say after we have to write this one after this okay see out end line okay now uh, after now the user is going to enter 10 values right 10 uh, integer 10 different values for the array and after the user enter that one we are going to uh, also user is going to enter a number that's that's going to be searched so to, for that one we have to another we have to create another c out statement c out enter the values value to be searched <coughs> To be searched. Okay, then semicolon. After that, the user is going to input a number, so that's going to be C in search key. That's the search key. Search key and uh, C out and line.
okay then also we are going to set value found value found we are going to set a flag right here value found is equal to false okay then we are going to create a for loop i is equal to zero and i less than array size size the array size should be like this because that's the way we put before the array size and then double and if the value is not found the okay, value not found not okay value found value found actually value found and uh, i plus plus okay now we are going to create some if statement if search key if the value given by the user search key is equal to num i so if the value input by user is inside the index okay num i Uh, we are going to say search index searched index in <coughs> index is equal to i value found true so this is another flag right here found is equal to true okay so if value found if value found we are going to say c out we are going to the it's going to print on the display like c out value found at index value found at index and uh, let's leave a space for that and uh, searched index index and uh, end line okay and uh, let's create our else statement mm. else if the else mean if the value is not found it's going to print on the screen like c out value not found okay now end line and that's it now let's get rid of these two and let's run this one and see what we get <coughs> Okay, there are some errors let's see value found is equal to false value found okay this would be capital F right here okay, let's run again and see what we get search key S search key if search key was 
okay search key there's capital K right here right so this should be capital K right here okay well, let's run this one searched index searched index okay searched index equal to i searched index is equal to i let's see where it is okay here we go searched index is equal to i what's wrong searched index was searched index okay here i had to put ed right here okay and else okay maybe i put the else statement okay before the else statement i have to close the one of them okay now let's run this one at the end of the input <laughs> okay at the end of the input let's see here we have one two three and uh, three after see out okay see out end line and uh, after that we have for loop and uh, here we have this one this one this one this one close right close right here then open close and close let's try one more thing <coughs> okay now the user is going to enter some number let's start with the one two ten okay one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and let's enter a number to be searched. Let's say let's say uh, let's enter a number that exists right here. So let's say four. Value found ex index three. Okay, this is correct. But I didn't expect this value not found. Okay, this is something wrong right here. Let's fix that one. Probably this one is the mistake. Okay, let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's say five. What's wrong, man? Okay, let's see. One here, one here, one. Okay, this one closed, and then see out and line after that this value and then here we have a open curly bracket open curly bracket closed curly bracket oh, oh, oh. the mistake is here i had to close this one okay let's get rid of this thing and let's try again now we should work let's see two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try five right here. Okay, now it's giving the correct answer value found at index four. And let's uh, enter some random numbers. For example, we can put any number we want. Like we can say eight, uh, nine, seven. Oh shit. Okay, let's try again let's go from 9 9 8 7 6 5 
0 and uh, now let's try 0 and it shows value found at index 9 so it, it doesn't matter where you put it it's going to find it right so you can create your own array and find the index number for that and let's see what happens if we enter a number that does not exist because we have to make sure this one also works right so let's again create some random let's go from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and let's enter a number like 55 and it says value not found so it means it's working correctly i hope this helps thanks for watching